ಅಮಾಧವಾ ಪುಂಜಾಭಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಪುಂಜಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ಬಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರಧಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನ ಬಲ್ಲಭ ಗಿರಿವರಧಾರಿ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ಬ್ರಜ ಜನ ರಂಜನ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರ ವನಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರ ವನಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರ ವನಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನಾ ತೀರ ವನಚಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಕುಂಜ ಬಿಹಾರಿ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪದ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪದ ಪ್ರಭು ಪದ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪದ ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ 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 ಜಯ ಗುರುದೇವ ನೀತಾಯ ಗೌಧರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋರಿ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ
ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾಂತಿಮಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಂಜನಾಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ಮಿಲಿತಂ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮೋ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತಾಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಿಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾಂಬಿತ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವದೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಂತ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮಿನಿ ಗೌರತುಷೆ ನಮಃ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೇವ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಷಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ So we will start our class with the recitation from Vishwapanishad. All the verses of Vishwapanishad will recite. Shri Vishwapanishad, Mangala Charan. Om Purnamada, Purnamidam, Purnat Purnam Udachyate, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnam Evava Shishyate, Ishava. ಆಶ್ಯಮಿದಂ ಸರ್ವಂ ಯತ್ ಕಿಂಚ ಜಗತಾಂ ಜಗತ್ ತೇನ ತ್ಯಕ್ತೇನ ಭುಂಜೀತ ಮಾಕೃತ ಕಸ್ಯ ಸ್ವಿಧನ ಕೂರ್ಮೇಹ ಕರ್ಮಿ ಗಿಜೀವಿಶೇಷತ ಕ್ಷಮಾಯಿ ನಾನ್ಯಥೇತು ಅಸ್ತಿ ನ ಕರ್ಮ ಲಿಪ್ಯತೇನ ರೇ ಅಸೂರ್ಯ ನಾಮ ತೇ ಲೋಕ ಅಂಧೇನ ತಮಸಾವೃತ ತಾಂಸ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೀತ್ಯಿ ಗಂತಿ ಏಕೇಚಾತ್ಮ ಹನೋ ಜನಾಜದೇಕ ಮನಸೋ ಜವೀಯೋ ನಯನ ದೇವ ಆಪನ ಆಪನ್ನುವನ್ ಪೂರ್ವಮರ್ಷ ತದ್ಭಾವತೋ ವನ್ಯನತ್ತೇತಿ ತಿಷ್ಟತ್ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಅಪೋ ಮಾತೃಶ್ವಾ ದಾತಿ ತದ್ ಏಜತಿ ತನ್ನೇಜತಿ ತದ್ ದೂರೆ ತದವಂತಿಕೆ ತದಂತರ ತದು ಸರ್ವಾಸ್ಯಸ್ತು ಸರ್ವಿ ಭೂತಾನ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯವಾಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸರ್ವೂತು ಚಾತ್ಮನ ತೋ ನಾಜುಗುಪ್ಸತೆ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಸರ್ವಿ ಭೂತಾನ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮೇವಾ ಭೂದ ಭೂದಿಜಾನತ ತತ್ರ ಕೋ ಮೋಹ ಕಹ ಶೋಕ ಏಕತ್ವಪಶ್ಯತ ಸಪರ್ಯ ಶುಕ್ರ ಕ್ರಮ ಅಕಾಯ ಅವರ್ಣ ಅಸ್ನಾಶುದ್ಧ ಅಪಾಪವಿಧ ಕವೀರ್ಮನೀಷೀ ಪರಿಭೂ ಸ್ವಯಂಭೂ ಯಾಥಾತ್ಯೋರ್ಥಾನ್ ವ್ಯದಾಶ್ವತ್ತಿಭ್ಯ ಸಮಾಭ್ಯ ಅಂಧ ತಮ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೇ ವಿಪಾಸತೆ ತೋ ಭೂಯ ಇವ ತೆ ತಮೋ ಯ ಉ ವಿದ್ಯಾಮೃತ ಅನ್ಯದೇವಾಹುರ್ವಿದ್ಯ 
अन्यदाहुर्विद्यादीराणस्तक्षिरे विद्यादो भय सह अद्या मृत्यु तृत्वा विद्या मृतमश्नुते अंधम तम प्रवशंति ये संभू संभूति मुपाशते तथो भूय इव ते तमो यऊ संभुत्यामृता अन्यदेवाहु संभवाद अन्यदाहुर संभवाद इति शुश्रुमधीराण ये नस्तच चक्षि संभूति विनाशम च यस्तवेदो भय सह विनाशेन मृत्यु तृत्वा संभूत्यामृतमश्नुते हिण्मयन पात्रेण सत्यसिहत मुखम तत्व पूषण आपृण सत्यधर्माय दृष्ट पूषण्यकर्षे यम सूर्य प्राजापत्य व्यूह रूह तेजो यत्ते यूपम कल्याणतम तत्ते पश्या यो सवसो पुष सुहमस्मी वायुर्नल अमृत अथेद भस्मा शरीर ओं कृत स्मर कृत स्मर कृत स्मर कृत स्मर अग्ने नय सुपथाराय अस्वानी देव वयुना विद्वान्द्यास्मज जुह जुहराण मेनो भूयिष्टा ते नम उक्ति विधेव ओ तत्स आज हम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिसाइड दिस वन येस्टरडे आई टूक सम पार्ट ऑफ इट तो कैन एनी वन रिसाइड दिस फर्स्ट वन ओम पूर्णमद ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य से पूर्णमादाय पूर्वमेवशिष्य अनुराग अनुराग अग्रवाल प्रभु अच्छा यू आर बिजी कैन यू आई कैन रीड इट यस बिजी ट्रांसलेशन गॉड इट इज परफेक्ट एंड कंप्लीट and because he is completely perfect all emanations from him such as phenomenal world are perfectly equipped as complete wholes whatever is produced of the complete whole is also complete in itself because he is the complete whole even though so many complete units emanate from him he remains the complete balance yes purport supreme personality of godhead is complete absolute truth the complete whole or the supreme absolute truth is the complete personality of godhead realization of impersonal brahman or, or of parmatma the super soul is incomplete realization of absolute complete the supreme personality of godhead is sachidanand vigraha uh, brahm samhita 5.1 realization of impersonal brahman is realization of his sat feature or his aspect of eternity and parmatma realization is realization of his chat, sat and chit feature his aspects of eternity and knowledge but realization of personality of godhead is realization of all the transcendental features sat chit and anand bliss when one realizes the supreme person he realizes these aspects of the absolute truth and their completeness vigraha means form and thus the complete whole is not formless if he were formless or if he were less than his creation in any other way he could not be complete the complete whole must contain everything both within and without our ex, uh, within and beyond our experience otherwise he cannot be complete okay so this uh, verse is a verse of complete everything is complete 
वर्स ऑफ कंप्लीट पूर्णम तो यस्टरडे आई वाज मेंशनिंग दैट अदर मींस सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड प्रोनाउन इट इज अ प्रोनाउन एंड इदम इज आल्सो अ प्रोनाउन इन संस्कृत सो इदम रेफर्स टू दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू शिला प्रभुपाद भक्तिवनो ठाकुर मेंशंस इदम मींस अवतारस and other means supreme personality of godhead krishna so from krishna who is the avatari all the avatars are coming and they are also complete and krishna himself is complete and even after all the avatars emanates from him krishna remains complete only so this is the way other acharyas say and propa say idam here refers to material world or universe material universe okay so yes शिलाप्रोपाजी इन फर्स्ट पैराग्राफी मेंशंस अबाउट दिस ज्ञानी योगी एंड भक्ता सो ज्ञानी रियलाइजेस ओनली सत फीचर एंड योगी रियलाइजेस सत एंड चित फीचर एंड भक्ता रियलाइजेस सत चित आनंद फीचर दिस ऑल थ्री आर देयर एंड द विग्रह ऑफ द लॉर्ड इट हैज ऑल द थ्री फीचर बट द पर्सन if he is not qualified if he is qualified to certain extent so he can only perceive that feature for which he is qualified or for what lord reveals to him but absolute truth cannot be said to be complete unless he has all these three satchit anand so gyani cannot understand that how god is or absolute truth is complete yogi is also they cannot understand how absolute truth is complete they will have some doubt because they have not realized the other feature so this is very very important hmm? therefore we, uh, we find lot of misconception about whether lord is uh, uh, having a form or he does not have form hmm? so in india many many saintly people hmm? so called saintly people or many many gyanis and uh, uh, Philosophers also they still believe that Lord is nirakar. He has no akar because they have not understood absolute truth to be complete. So Prabhupada is raising this question: If absolute truth has no form, then he must be losing something because we all have form. We all see here everything has form. So then he is losing something. It means that he cannot be complete. That is the question Shri Prabhupada is raising here. If if he were a formless, then he is less than his creation because in his creation every everything is form having form. So how can he be formless then? Hmm. Therefore, he is saying he absolute or the complete whole absolute truth. He has everything beyond and within our experience. Within our experience means what? We are seeing in this material world. Whatever you see in material world, that is coming from him. and what we cannot see is there in spiritual world avyakta dham that is also there with him therefore lords abode lords past time lords leela or are absolute they are non different like we say na uh, when we call somebody rakesh rakesh come here so unless the name the name does not uh, say the name does not is only a name it does not identify the person means identity of the person is separate and name is separate now the home people or the father mother they have connected this name with the person but if i say rakesh 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 will not come if he is very far he cannot hear me rakesh will not come it means the naam and nami the person who is having the name and the name both are separate in material world in spiritual world both are same if you say krishna 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 here also in material world, if you say krishna so then krishna is there no but, but can i perceive that krishna no right now i am not able to perceive because my senses are not purified atah shri krishna namaadi na bhavet grahyam indriye sevan mukhe hi jivadu swayam eva sprut adah then after serving the lord through our senses when they get purified the lord will reveal to us so for devotees also we understand through knowledge we are seeing the lord but our senses are still not purified so we cannot factually see the lord yes so therefore same similar thing applies to the gyanis and yogis also they cannot 
speak to the Lord or they cannot understand the Lord. They are even having a deficient so because they are not having the Ananda feature, which is the devotional feature. But they cannot understand the Ananda feature of the Lord. So, <clears throat> the Supreme Personality of Godhead, somebody asked Srila Prabhupada, Okay, uh, you say that uh, God is all good, good. So, uh, does God have evil also? So, Srila Prabhupada was questioned like that. Srila Prabhupada said, yes, God has also evil. Huh? How? So, he said, see, if you just turn towards the sun, there is sunlight. When you turn away from the sun, there is shadow. So, when you turn away from God, you will find evil. And when you turn towards God, there is a all good. So, evil comes what, when? Because see, the property of the shadow is also basically the creation of sunlight only. Because the sunlight only creates the shadow. If any object uh, uh, just turns its back and then uh, you can see the, the light is obstructed and then the shadow is formed. Yes, without light there cannot be darkness. In the sense, without absolute truth, nothing can exist. So, darkness is also created by him only for those who turn away from him. It is like that. So, <clears throat> so Prabhupada said it is like that. And somebody again asked, do God also become angry? Yes. God God also become angry. How if God becomes angry? God becomes angry like Narasimha Dev. The Lord Narasimha Dev is angry. But God's anger and our anger is different. Our anger is destructive. When we become angry, then we uh, kill somebody or we chastise, we punish somebody out of hatred. Hmm? Or we become hate, we become hateful uh, if we show a lot of anger. But the God's anger is not like that. Hmm? When God showed anger to Hiranyakashipu, he liberated him. Yes? Not only he, even the 21 generation of Prahlad Maharaj got liberated by anger of Narsim Dev. So just imagine... Hmm? Narsim Bhagwan's appearance, he is also getting angry, like all of us. But his anger is transcendental. This is the uh, fundamental feature, or you can say substance, which Ishopanishad or Upanishad focuses upon. That God is not like you. All the time you will find this thing. God is not like you. Even though he has emotion, he has form, but his form is not like us. His form is different than us. So it is like that. So therefore, we want to put logic on God that, okay, uh, if I am not able to enjoy a certain thing or I am punished for certain enjoyment, so if God does, he should also be punished. We think like that. Like if we do something illicit, like we steal something, but then we are punished by police Yeah, when we are caught. But when Krishna is stealing, he is called Makhanchor. So he is given the name his given name and the devotees are rejoicing by chanting his name. They are very much delightful, happy. And he is doing that thing in the spiritual world also. So, uh, and then when somebody uh, dances with other's wife, but then here in the material world, that is to be very much illicit. So then he is captured and put behind the bar. But Krishna is doing that. So then he is, uh, now if, if the Upanishads say that he also dances, he also steals. So then the Gyanis will become very much uh, problem, will come in their mind. Arif Baba. Means earlier we were understanding that Absolute Truth is like a Satya. He is a very sober person. He is a very moral person, truthful person. So Upanishad will not describe everything of God because they don't have qualification actually. They will misunderstand him. So therefore even to certain quality what Upanishad is describing about God, that is also a little... Uh, not directly, it is a little turn here and there. So it <clears throat> so the Supreme Personality of Godhead, only when we understand that He is a person, He has emotion, He has people, family, relationship, He reciprocates. He also lives a life like all of us. He is also a living entity. Nityo nityanam, chetna chetna nam, eko bahunam, yobidhati kaman. We are Nityas, he is a Nitya. He is also a living entity, but he is a chief living entity. He is a supreme living entity. And, and he is a Bibhu, and we are Anu, we are small. He is a Bibhu, he is the greatest. Hmm? 
तो ही ग्रेटेस्ट एंड नित्यो नित्या नाम चेतना चेतना नाम ही दल हो चेतन ही दल सो लिविंग एंड वी आर ऑल्सो लिविंग एको बहु नाम यो विदाती काम ही इज द प्रोवाइडर फॉर ऑल द फैसिलिटीज एंड सस्टेनेंस फॉर ऑल दीज नित्या वी आर ऑल नित्या वी आर ऑल्सो लिविंग so for all of us who is providing supreme personality of god it is mentioned in the upanishad here hmm. so it is like that so supreme personality of god had uh, also has love lust everything comes from him but somebody say if uh, is god lusty is god uh, angry so we should understand okay anger is one thing can is god envious like uh, somebody asked to uh, parishit maharaj asked hmm? this is the question hmm? uh, okay how can uh, god be partial he is uh, killing the demons and he is uh, favoring the devotees or favoring the demigods how can be partial this is a very big question in seventh canto in the beginning of seventh canto this question has been raised how can god be partial hmm? so these things because uh, to understand the supreme personality of god it is not easy it has to be understood gradually nicely through proper hearing or a reception because it has to be understood slowly slowly every concept should be understood properly <clears throat> so so devo sukhdev goswami says that uh, the god is a partial um, or impartial so then he said no god behaves everyone equally but to those who are serving him who wants him uh, to behave like a friend like a lover god behaves to them like that and those who want to hate him want to remain away from him and do their own things so god also behaves like that but then it is seen that okay he is favoring them and he is uh, not favoring them and so is the partial it is not like that like sunlight is not partial if somebody goes inside the house he never comes out and he says oh, there is no sunlight there is no day but there is a day when you come out you will see the sun in the similar way god puts the condition that if you want to see my favor hmm, which is also i am impartial but if you want to see my favor so you surrender to me once you surrender you will see my favor if you don't surrender you don't see my favor eh? so then this is the condition from god side so in this condition you decide whether is a partial or not partial a devotee is who surrender to the lord they see that lord is always there with them and even for outsiders they are also son of the lord but again it's a natural thing that a son who is obedient to the father Hmm? the father gives him more rights he gives him more freedom he gives him more uh, you can say whether the it appears like he is giving him more love and he is not loving the other son but to other son he is also teaching how he should not do the wrong thing he should also come to the right path so this is very important this is natural thing hmm? we should not say that he is a partial hmm? so this all uh, different features transcendental qualities are there in the supreme personality of god when one understand all these things or keep on understanding all these things then he can understand the absolute truth is complete otherwise not there is there is no leela in the books of gyanis they, they don't discuss leela because they they say brahman is non dual no leela leela is not there only hmm. but devotees have the book of leela shrimad bhagavatam so they can keep on discussing shrimad bhagavatam So this is a uh, yes. So God is not lacking anything, hmm? and uh, yes. Then we'll go to the another thing, and the, yes. We will read Shreyas Vachal Prabhu. Yes, can you read from here? Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. one question is there. Just one, just one minute. Yes, what is the question? Vijay Prabhu has raised the raised hand. Yes. Prachkumar, so yeah, sorry, I was on on mute. Hare Krishna, Babuji. Uh, right. Is, um, question is regarding the everything emanates from Krishna is complete, and we were reading yesterday that uh, our senses are imperfect. I'm thinking. I'm. I was thinking yesterday about. Okay, uh, you know, we got a human. As a human, we are emanates of the parts and parts of Krishna, but we got imperfect senses. How does it work? 
And am I right to say this imperfect senses is just to, it's a part of a, a perfect being, if you understand what I mean. So humans uh, or living entity is a perfect, it's a perfect entity because it's emanation or the parts and parts of Krishna, but he's got imperfect senses uh, just to, just to cover, uh, just to not see. I mean, if he if he had perfect senses, otherwise we wouldn't be in the in this in this illusion. So this imperfect senses is to to facilitate our us to be illusion. Am I right thinking like that? Or okay, I understood the question. This question will be answered as we proceed. Also, but in brief, I will say something that whether this is for illusion, to create illusion, or uh, or what was another thing you said? Uh, just like... to facilitate, you know, just to be, because it, otherwise if we are perfect, if sense, we have perfect senses, we could not be sort of enjoying our senses, you know, to do sense gratification. Okay. See, anything like I just mentioned, like stealing also, stealing or becoming angry, or any kind of emotions which are there. I mentioned the shadow also, the shadow, the object creates, the object when it turns away from light, the shadow is created. So when it is taken in reference with God, like devotees also become angry. Hmm? You find so many pastimes, devotees also become overcome by so many, so many emotions. Hmm? So like Abhimanyu, when he died, Arjuna was weeping, crying. Yes, when... Uh, uh, the sons of Draupadi were killed. So she was also very much lamenting, crying. Yes, so devotees were also weeping, crying. So then what is the difference? So when these emotions ha are connected with absolute truth, it is going to come in our discussion. We are only complete when we connect ourselves with the complete whole, Supreme Personality of Godhead. So our emotions also become complete. See, Prabhupada never mentioned in his teachings that you should become emotionless, no affection for anyone. We are always taught that you should devote your likings, your emotions, your activities with Supreme Personality of Godhead. Then it becomes perfect. Hmm? The only problem is we have detached ourselves from Him. And we will not attach to Supreme Personality of Godhead unless first we understand Him. See, without understanding, how can we attach, like if somebody said you have to become a servant of somebody and then we become, why I have to become servant? So like people in outside world, they become so-called, okay, whatever, they're servant only, like in offices, everybody servant. <laughs> because office, the head is, person is paying money, so everybody servant only. Eh? He can say, okay, go there, okay, go there. Sometimes he can say, okay, I have this uh, obligation, that obligation, but everyone is servant. And we only like to become servant for money. But here it is said, you have to give up your false ego. You have to become servant thoroughly. Full Atmani Vedanam. Full servant. So then unless you understand that person, who is that person for whom I, I should become servant? Uh, what is my future uh, there? What I'm going to do with him? whether he's going to torture me after servant or whether he's going to pay me, how much money is going to pay me when I become a servant. <laughs> he will not pay, pay us anything. Eh? <laughs> so, so he will not pay us anything. He still is asking us to become servant. So now we have to decide. These questions are there. As the devotee progress, Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha. These things we are going to pass through. Hmm? Raga Bhaya Krodha. Huh? Rag means attachment to the world. Bhaya means fear. I will lose something. Huh? Bhaya, krodha, krodha. Why God did this thing to me? To my family members, why he did this thing? To me, why he did this? To, to krodha. We, we all have to go through this passage of uh, emotions and uh, these anarthas. And then still we have to keep Krishna as our goal of life. It is not easy. So therefore, so many the saintly people have left their post position, home, money and they have gone to Vrindavan and other pilgrim places to become devotee of Lord. And these people also, they become trapped by Maya. So is it so easy? It's not so easy. So therefore, uh, 
our senses are imperfect. Yes. Why it is imperfect? Because anyone who comes into this material world is imperfect only. Already imperfect. Because it has been added to the first five अगर सेंसेस परफेक्ट कैसे होंगे सी द मटेरियल सेंसेस ऑल मटेरियल सेंसेस आर इंपरफेक्ट ओनली इवन इफ यू गो टू देवी दुर्गा देवी डोंट थिंक दैट हर सेंसेस आर परफेक्ट सी इज आल्सो इग्नोरेंट अबाउट स्पिरिचुअल आइडेंटिटी सी इज आस्किंग लॉर्ड शिवा भवा प्लीज टेल मी अबाउट स्पिरिचुअल थिंग्स गिव मी स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज सी इज आल्सो इंपरफेक्ट मटेरियल नथिंग कैन बी परफेक्ट बिकॉज़ मटेरियल मींस व्हाट इट इज seen separate from god that is material seen separate from god for god nothing is material because he understand oh she is my separated energy i have kept her for doing something some thankless job she is doing but we all see uh, maya separate from god till the time we become devotee when we become pure devotee we can see even maya is a dasi of the lord and she is serving lord so anything material when it is separated from god like a hand if you cut and then leave it it will uh, show some symptom of life to certain time then after certain time it will die fully yes so maya is uh, looking very beautiful very promising at the same time giving lot of suffering also why so the beautiful and promising is coming because she is coming from krishna so krishna is beautiful and promising but because she has been seen as a separate and we are trying to enjoy her she is slapping us punishing so imperfection is there everywhere therefore it is said unless you become liberated from here unless you re realize your own identity there is no perfection means these senses our original senses will become awakened that time then these senses will not be required these senses are always imperfect ye jo senses hai sabke imperfect hai kisi ke perfect nahi so therefore we should understand uh, this world we should not try for perfection we should try for purification perfection will not come even hiranyakashipu he got all the three lokas eh? he did not become happy he was so frustrated thinking that are uh, still so much uh, uh, things has to be done uh, this devata may be causing some problem are mere ko aur bhi karna ye bhi karna wo bhi karna aisa nahi hai he is not that he was very much peaceful he was having headache and he was also drinking drinking wine liquor so that he would forget the tension and another tension came his son prahlad maharaj who was a enemy of uh, his he was thinking that he is an enemy he has come from vishnu's party so then he was another tension so he was not happy how can we say that he was perfect no he could not control his senses only even though he got so many benedictions he could not control his senses so propad mentions material benediction means no benediction so it is like that so our senses are not given imperfect this material world is itself now uh, but you say that but prabhu ji are saying that he, it is a complete material world is complete yes material is complete but we have to see the purpose with which it is made definition based upon the definition it is complete but if you want to see from our definition then it is not complete like we want to be happy here only <laughs> no one wants to go from here huh? in this case material world is not complete that is correct like a small child if he sees that is uh, mother you don't love me you don't allow me to play you don't allow me to eat anything i want yes he is right he is right but he is also wrong why is wrong because mother only gives what is good for him so according to the right who is right who is wrong some definition has to be drawn now the definition is from vedas that is that is why we are again again establishing the vedic literature vedas vedas so vedas means the god says this is the right definition if you follow then you enjoy or you remain happy you be remain peaceful if you do not follow suffering is automatic so like this Okay, so yes, yes, Arun, just like yes. Ah, uh, Guruji, my understanding was of complete, a complete whole is that it can sustain on its own, that nothing has decreased. So is that understanding correct? And like now, yes, yes, you gave it. Correct, correct. That is also correct. We are going to discuss. Just wait. Hmm? So yes, Shreyas, which all proof? Yes, can you read? Yes, Guruji. 
the complete whole, the personality of Godhead has immense potency, all of which are as complete as He is. Thus, this phenomenal world is also complete in itself. The twenty-four elements of which this material universe is a temporary manifestation are arranged to produce everything necessary for the maintenance and subsistence of this universe. No other unit in the universe need make an extraneous effort to try to maintain the universe. The universe functions on its own time scale, which is fixed by the energy of the complete whole. And when that schedule is completed, this temporary manifestation will be annihilated by the complete arrangement of the complete by the complete arrangement of the complete whole. Okay. Yes. So what Arun Jaiswal Prabhu was saying is mentioned here. Now Prabhupada is explaining to us what is saying. What is this material energy? What is para sakti apara? Hmm? This phenomenal world. Lord has immense potencies. Hmm? Lord has many potencies. Not like we hear that uh, antarang sakti, bahirang sakti, tatashta sakti. Hmm? Antarang means the spiritual energy. Hmm? And bahirang means material energy. And tatashta means we all living entities. So this is a broad category. In this broad category, there are many other energy. Hmm? Like Samha, Samhar Sakti is there, Kripa Sakti is there, Sankalpa Sakti is there, hmm? Ichha Sakti is there. So many things are there. God has so many energy, unlimited energy. And all are at the beck and call of the Lord to fulfill his desire. Okay, how Lord's energy they were, just by his will. Just if, like, Lord just thinks, na, the work is done. Means the energy understand what I have to do. Lord need not even speak. Just by his will, they understand what Lord wants. Immediately the things will be, uh, they start preparing for completing that thing. Okay. Now this 24 element material world, 24 element. And this is complete, it is said. It means the two kind of uh, things uh, or idea can come to a person that if this world is by chance, the chance hua hai, matlab, as the scientist have uh, uh, previously the scientist now also they may believe or not but the chance theory is still there hmm? chance theory means the, this world has come by chance hmm? so by chance means whether it is the automatic means kisi ne gaadi chalu kar diya hai to apne aap chal raha hai to chance ka do matlab ho sakta hai ek to ye matlab ho sakta hai ki uh, nobody is the operator creator and another meaning can be there must be some or operator creator and he has just put the engine to ignition and then he has gone away. And the whole system is very perfect that it is going by itself. The two meaning can be there. Hmm. Scientists say that there is no creator and operator. It is coming by chance. Like uh, if you take a coin and then throw it and, and if it falls. So when it falls, uh, according to mathematics, hmm, the two sides are there. So probability of head to come is equal to 1 by 2. Out of, yeah, out 1 by 2. In the similar way, the tail, 1 by 2. Equal to probability. So both have half a probability. Anything can appear. So here you cannot determine what will come. You can say by chance it came head, by chance it came tail. But just imagine some uh, structure, architectural engineer, they are making nice bridge. Hmm? And... Uh, and after six months, that bridge collapsed. And then they were called for, okay, why bridge collapsed? So then they said, uh, we heard the scientist uh, concocting this philosophy of by chance. So it, it fell because of by chance. By chance, the bridge collapsed. So how many, all the members in the meeting would accept this answer? Nobody will accept. They will say, how can you say by chance? We gave so much money, all the resources were given, manpower was given, all design, everything was made, and then you are saying by chance it fell down. It means when you make some effort and you design something, it cannot finish or it cannot fall because of by chance. But when somebody else made automatic, you are saying it is by chance. So it means it's a foolishness. Yes, like a small toys. When uh, the children have a small child, when they put it some key and they start uh, going here and there, here and there. Hmm? But then ch child needs to understand, okay, this is automatic. Hmm? But automatic means what? There is a very perfect designer for that toy 
who has made in such a way that if you just put the key, it will start rotating here and there. Correct. And he need not to even interfere. So this is the way we have to understand this thing. So if there's a cloud, like somebody can say, uh, okay, uh, clouds are formed because of sun, because sun is uh, evaporating the water and then clouds are formed and then they are showering the rain. Now, now how this system has been developed? So automatic system, none of us are aware of that, okay, uh, whether this year uh, less cloud will be formed or more cloud. No, we are not aware and it is happening. So it's automatic. But some, some other person said, if it is automatic, then why the rains are falling in too much quantity to some places and too less quantity to some other places? And why rains are wasting their water in fall while they are falling in rivers and oceans? Why they have to fall there? So then, okay, automatic person is okay. But whether he has intelligence or not, somebody can question like that also. So, so at least they question somebody like uh, the theist people, they said Ki God has created the cloud. God has ar arranged this whole system. Then at least they said, then why God is causing desert? In desert area, there is no rainfall. And in ocean, there is a lot of rainfall. God has no brain, it means. They, they are saying like that, you know, how to solve this whole, whole thing. If then whether this whole creation has come uh, because of chance or because of a very intelligent design. Yes. So yes. So the second thing which we have to understand. So the first thing is yes, it has come because of intelligent design. Hmm? Like, like man, woman is there. Hmm? They are producing children. Also automatic. Automatic means nobody has to worry that okay. Uh, the God has to come and then tell or he has to do something, then the things will come ahead. No, the rainy season is coming, the sun is coming, the, is, the wind is blowing, hmm? everything is happening. Sun never comes late and, and then say that, oh, sorry, sorry, I, I slept a lot last night and so I am appearing late. It never happens like that. The seasons are also changing. But we can think, okay, why season is not uh, changing the in an appropriate way? Why it is causing so much heat, so much cold. It means there is no God. So, okay, creator I can accept. Then maintainer means after creation he has left away because he has understood, Baba, uh, we cannot manage this creation. So many people are uh, there. How to manage uh, for one, you have to put uh, cold and you have to, for another, you have to put hot. How to do all these things? So then they concocted another thing that God is now not maintaining the universe. He has simply created. Okay? So, we have to understand this whole thing with a proper perspective. What is that? God is not simply creator. He is also maintainer. As Prabhupada says, he is a sustainer also. Now, why he is giving then the other thing like in the ocean, their rains are falling or some places a lot of heat is there, some places a lot of cold is there. Why that is happening? Then that also, we have to understand that there is some purpose for it. So design is done by intelligent person and there is some purpose also. Without understanding his purpose, you will doubt him. So, so every uh, design has a designer or creator and every design has certain purpose. If you want to write some book in mobile, you cannot write it. You have to write it in, in laptop. So you can curse your mobile. You can throw your mobile and say that it is not fit for writing book. But the designer has not designed with this idea of writing book, which we want to do. So then we want to impose our desires, expectation on God or his worky way of working. That is not going to happen unless that fits with the design of the or purpose of the Lord. Okay. So Prabhupada says here that. Okay. So God is giving everything for maintenance and subsistence of the universe. For maintenance, we can say uh, like a. Uh, God is giving us roti kapda makan, even for animal and uh, for humans also. And for us, many uh, refined facilities God is giving. Now we need not to worry about, uh, like animals, they have to worry where, when is the next food, who is going to give them next food, where is the next place to stay. For animals, this worry is there. For, for humans, these worries are not there. We have secured our uh, life in such a way that we know at least for years, for many years, we have secured our 
life future like that. So we have refined facilities actually with us. So, and also subsistence, so maintenance and subsistence. So everything is has been given by God. The rivers are there and the trees are there. The nice weather is there, everything. So this world has two way of understanding. This world can be taken as a jail as well as it can be taken as a hospital. I was saying the purpose. So if you see, then nobody likes that this world is a jail. But we have to understand why it is a jail. We all have come away from God, from a spiritual world, revolting him. We wanted to enjoy separate from him. So we have come here. Ichade samutte na dvanda mohe na bharata. Manasasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati. Why we are struggling with our senses and we are trying to fight with maya because our desire is to enjoy separate from Krishna. And so the maya is torturing and we are struggling with her. Okay. So <clears throat> the jail, who is kept in the jail, who is a criminal, who has disobeyed the government. The laws of government has been broken by that person and so he has been kept into jail. Okay. Now, how many of us feel this world is like a jail? Really not, because so many facilities is there. So many. We have mother, father, we have our uncle, aunt, we have whole family lineage, and we have uh, we, we have schools, we have uh, sports, we have a television, we have recreation, so many things. We have uh, so many things are there. How can we say that it's a jail? It's a really first class jail. <laughs> For me, nobody I can understand. Sometimes this example is given, it's a jail. For some people who are really suffering, they may say that, yes, yes, it is jail because he has come from jail. If somebody has come from jail, he will surely say, yes, yes, my whole life was in jail and it, this world is like jail only. But we are not living in jail. It means you can understand, even though it is called jail, there's still so many facilities. So jail is kept for what? To reform a person, to make him understand you have broken the laws of government. Now you should not break. You become a gentleman. Yes, this is for jail is for that. Now, hospital. Hospital is there for whom? Hospital is there to cure our disease. Hmm. Cure our disease. So we have a disease of Bhoga Vritti. We want to enjoy. Hmm. So jail is for jail is they will give us suffering by keeping in jail. But hospital, we are cured. Hmm. So we are cured, we are given medicines. Huh? So we find so many medicines in, in like we have saintly people. We have temples, we have rivers. So these are all the medicines for our disease, material disease. So these things are there. But if somebody says, no, 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 no. I want this world to be like a hotel where you just uh, write your menu. Okay, uh, better you just bring this thing, bring that thing. So he, can, you can do this in hotel, but you cannot do in hospital. At hospital, you cannot write the menu. Okay. Just choose the menu. Okay. Okay. Paratha do. Here do. A doctor ne mana kiya. Apko to apko paratha nahi milega. Because doctor has already told not to eat. You cannot take. So this world we find many times our expectations are not fulfilled. Why? That time you should understand that I am in jail and I am in hospital. We are getting recovered. When therefore you find none of us will be fully satisfied because. Till the time we keep the lingering of our desires, the desires lingering will be there inside. We will never be satisfied. We have to understand the plan and purpose of God, why we have been kept here. Therefore, it is said that a person who after suffering very much, he just holds, just joins with the palm and then prays to Lord, Oh Lord, I am suffering because of my own karma. Because of your mercy, you have decreased my suffering. I offer my obeisances unto you. Yes. Tatte nukampam susamikshamano bhunjan eva pitam vipagam hitvag bhupubhir vidhan namaste jivetamu yumukti sadepadaya dukha. So why he says, Brahmaji is saying, why? Same thing. Padam padam yad vipadam. This world is like padam padam yad vipadam. Everywhere there is a misery. Everywhere there is a uh, danger. Hmm? But for those who are not Esha, those who are devotees of the Lord, who have taken shelter of the Lord, this is not there. For devotees also, Brahma is saying he also suffers. But how he suffers? He takes the suffering as a purification for himself. 
he understand that lord is not giving me suffering why prime minister has to give up uh, give up his important things and then come to the jail and then give me suffering pinching prime minister should not do why god has to leave his past tense and come and tell oh you arjuneshwar das you have uh, really revolted you very much i will put a uh, this much long syringe in your body why god has to do somebody else can do huh? so we cannot blame god hmm? we have to understand that he is very much eager for us to come back to him propa says you are eager 1% god is eager 100 times it means he wants us to come back to him more than what we want because when we leave this body now god will increase our like if you have done bhakti to certain extent god will say no 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 he has done lot of bhakti see in brindavan he chanted so nicely see in haridwar he he did lot of service to vaishnavas eh so he will count like that because his mind is not like a, a critical mind okay this person acha idhar garbad kiya udhar garbad kiya idhar garbad kiya aisa nahi he is like jagannath hmm? bhav grahi janardan hmm? so lord is like that hmm? lord is our father we should not worry he is our father we have done mistakes we are doing mistakes we will be doing mistakes huh? but he is our father like a small child he cannot understand huh? and he does some mistake mother slaps him then what he does again he catches the hold of mother mother's feet and start crying because he, he does not know anyone he like a small baby he does not know anyone he has to just cry hmm? so we also hmm, become helpless in our life many devotees therefore the they the bhagavatam is mentioning all the mistakes done by great great devotees and how they surrender to the lord and lord reciprocated with them so this is the important thing is important feature here that this uh, material world has certain design certain purpose if we align with that purpose hmm, then we can see the completeness of this world otherwise incomplete okay let us go ahead hmm. yes Yes, Dipali Salunke Mata Ji. Yes, can you read? Yes, Professor. All facilities are given to the small, complete units, namely the living beings, to enable them to realize the complete world. All forms of incompleteness are experienced due to incomplete knowledge. Complete world. The human form of life is a complete manifestation of the consciousness of the living being, and it is obtained. after evolving through 8 8 400 000 species of life in the cycle of birth and death if in this human life uh, if in this human life of full consciousness the human the living entity does not realize its completeness in relation to the complete whole he loses the chance to realize his completeness and is again put into the evol evolutionary cycle by the law of material nature yes so uh, yes the human life will only be so he propose says that before that we will also discuss one two point more uh, there is also problem people say that there is ecological system like deer is running and behind the deer tiger is running to eat the deer frogs are running and then snake is running or snake is crawling to eat frogs hmm? you find in the animal kingdom this kind of competition is going on in a similar way in human uh, society you find those were very rich people hmm, they devour the poor one hmm, or they snatch away the poor people because they have selfish people hmm. and there lot of exploitation in human hmm, you find in the relationship exploitation you find in the education exploitation every every field there is exploitation hmm. then somebody can say that Uh, what is this ecological system god has made why it is like that so don't try to blame everything upon god because we should understand even though god need not to intervene into this world he has made this world complete but he has given some responsibility to all of us also it's not that many people say are jab bhagwan ki ichha hogi to mandir aayenge when lord will desire i will come to temple otherwise i i cannot 
Hmm? Or because he is doer of everything, he gives me that desire and he will make my legs work and then I will come to temple. It is not like that. Even the God has designed and some things are going on, we also have responsibility. This is important. If people are greedy, so surely they will start fighting with each other. One is taking away the resource of another. Therefore, the Ishavasyam principle is going to say in, in next verse that you should not uh, steal the other's property. Why it is saying? Same thing. Because of this. Even though God is a proprietor, he is a controller, he is a maintainer. But again, we have certain responsibilities also. So when we do wrong, can we blame God for our wrong? We cannot blame him. So then we have to see whether I am living with the dharmic principle or not. Then I can question God later. Okay, like a small, uh, like, like a children, uh, when they give exam hmm, and they have come to house after after 10 days, then result has come. Then mother is asking, why less marks? Tell me. Oh, mother, this paper was very tough. And many questions came out of course. Achha? Why the less marks? Oh, this this exam, um, I, I, means I was sick. So everything is what he's saying. That some nothing is in my control. Everything other people are doing. Teacher is uh, putting very questions which are out of course, and uh, God is putting illness to me, and I am innocent person. This is how we have tendency to blame others. Actually, this is there actually. So why ecology? Now eco the animal kingdom, the ecological system is perfect because that is the righteous thing. Means if the tiger is eating deer, we cannot say it is sinful. Hmm? It is the way God has made. Why? To pinch us that this world is not meant for gentlemen. This world is not meant for gentlemen. We should understand. We want to make this world perfect. It is never going to happen. You have to connect to Krishna, one thing. But at the same time, this world is not meant for gentlemen. Krishna has just 5,000 years back, he was here in this material. Now just see what is the status now in Kali Yuga. He was there now 5,000 years. What has happened now? This world is not meant for gentlemen. So when we get suffering also, we understand that there has to be some proper home where I have come from, I have to go back. Hmm? So any kind of solution philosophy is there ultimately if it is not connecting with the Vedanta Tattva that we have to go back. Hmm? If it is not connecting, then it is false. The conclusion is that we have to go back. Hmm? It's not conclusion, not that if we connect with God, then we be here, then uh, we remain enjoy. We enjoy. <laughs> it's not like that. Prabhupada used to say, don't call God here. Go back to him. Like some devotees, they do a lot of tapasya and say, Krishna, please become my son. Krishna, please become uh, somebody in my house eh? so that I will be glorified or whatever. Things may happen. I will serve you. But, but Prabhupada said, don't call God here. Already a lot of suffering is there. Eh? Even if God comes, the suffering will not be reduced. <laughs> we have to go back. Wind up. Wind up the things from here. So, as in this uh, section, Prabhupada mentions, hmm, the human form offers complete facility. Hmm? Humans have to be aware that wait, when is my check-in time, wait, when is my check-out time. कब मुझे चेक इन करना है कब चेक आउट करना है क्या से उसके लिए हमको अवेयर रहना है ह्यूमन फॉर्म इज मेंट फॉर दैट एंड ओनली इन ह्यूमन फॉर्म द इंटेलिजेंस हैज बीन गिवन व्हिच कैन अंडरस्टैंड गॉड इन नो अदर फॉर्म इट इज पॉसिबल यस बाय मर्सी ऑफ गॉड इट इज पॉसिबल लॉर्ड चेतन महाप्रभु डिलीवर्ड अ डॉग आल्सो बट इट इज नॉट अ जनरल रूल जनरल रूल इज ओनली ह्यूमंस आर कैपेबल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग गॉड and they can only understand what are the miseries in this world. Prabhupada says the issue punishment lesson is not meant for cat and dog. It is meant for human beings. It is going to come. So humans, they have a, uh, they don't have fully grown up consciousness, but by practicing, their consciousness is, uh, will grow to bikshit to purna bikshit by practicing God consciousness. So, Avrit, hmm, Sankuchit, and the Pulakit, and then uh, Bikasit and Purna Bikasit. So, right now, our consciousness is at least to that much extent that we can 
understand what is my miseries, where I should go. If I'm miserable there, I should go to doctor. If I have a life problem, I should go to some guru. Some, some place, I means humans can uh, think of it and they can find out some solution. But problem should not be like that, that we should be living our life just to solve the temporary problem of this world. Okay, I don't have water in my home. Okay, I don't have education here. Okay, I don't have uh, any spouse. Okay, I don't have uh, any uh, friend. So all these are temporary problems. Our life should not be spent to solve this only temporary problem. Our life should be there to solve permanent problem, which is Janma Mittu Janaviyadi. So Prabhupada is saying human forms offer complete facility. Hmm. So see, uh, many, many times some people say, what to be done? I have to take the next birth also. Hmm. So then we ask question, why we have to take next birth? Or is this life, uh, I am not able to perfect. Hmm. So then uh, again, question. Eh? So if you are not able to perfect in this life, so how, how you are guaranteed that next life will be able to perfect? Next life also some more work will be there. <laughs> Who can ascertain next life you will have less work? So our mind is very much tricky. It, it says that if in this time, in this life is spent, you are very busy or you cannot make it. So let us do for next life. Usko next life will transfer. Kar do. It is not like that. See, uh, when some cricketers, they play match, even to the last ball, they have a hope that we can win. Or okay, if there are 20 runs to be made on last ball, they understand. Ab nahi hai. Chalo, chhod do. Abhi, then we'll uh, play in next match. That they can understand. So it means, but they have worked hard till last ball and then they have come to the conclusion, now we cannot make. Yes? So our endeavor should be like that. Till last breath, we start trying to get out of this world, trying to catch the feet of Lord or Vaishnavas. If not happen, okay, no problem. Next life will continue. But it should not happen in medieval of our life only. Okay. Abhi agli life ke liye karte hai. <laughs> that is a trick of Maya. <laughs> so he loses the chance to realize the completeness and is again put into evolutionary cycle by the laws of material nature. If he does not utilize the human form of life, if Atma does not utilize this, then he has again put into evolutionary cycle. Hmm? This evolutionary cycle is separate from Darwin's evolutionary cycle. Hmm? This evolutionary cycle is 84 lakh species. According to our karma, we are reborn in other species and then we gradually pass through all those species to and ultimately come to human form. Hmm. Okay. Now, yes, Gaurang Gupta Prabhu. Uh, Gaurang, sorry, sorry, Ganga Putra Prabhuji. Yes, can you uh, read this? Yes. Sri Ganga Putra Prabhu. Sense gratification, illusionary completeness. Because we do not know that there is a complete arrangement in nature for our maintenance, we make effort to utilize the resources of nature to create so-called complete life of sense enjoyment. Because the living entity cannot enjoy the life of the sense complete whole, the misleading life of sense, sense enjoyment is illusion. The hand of a body is complete unit only as long as it is attached to the complete body. When the hand, when the hand is severed from the body, it may appear like a hand, but it actually has none of the potencies of a hand. Similarly, the living, similarly, living beings are part and parcel of the complete whole. And if they are severed from the complete whole, the illusory representation of completeness cannot fulfill, fully satisfy them. Okay. So, here it is mentioned. Now, material world is complete. We have just uh, seen here. Uh, I explained to a certain extent that material world is complete. Hmm? Anyone has any question on this? Material world is incomplete. Now, anyone has any question? Scientists are trying to make this world complete. They are saying we don't have much technology. We have to develop more technology. But they are missing the purpose. That's why they are feeling that this world is incomplete. Like simple example. Uh, we are living in a technological world. Yes. If we are having a lot of many, many machines are there. And 
everything is getting done through machines then what we will do this question always comes to our mind what we will do like shila prabhupad was asked by some uh, devotees prabhupad a uh, tractor in the field hmm, tractor so we are using tractor so that we can have maximum efficiency and the harvesting can be done properly because machines are there for harvesting and the plowing can be done hmm, the seed uh, sowing can be done hmm, through tractors hmm. so prabhupad we are able to produce very fine things through our technologies so prabhupad said hmm, you are able to produce very fine things but what about the people who are not engaged into work what they are doing they are going and they are taking to sinful habits they are smoking they are drinking because they are think they are thinking we don't have to do anything now only tractor is doing let me now do my own things तो बेकारी से बेगारी अच्छी है इसका एक वर्ड है बेकारी से बेगारी अच्छी है मतलब क्या है कृपाद इष्टो से सम इन ओल्डन डेज अ पर्सन विल गो टू शॉपकीपर एंड टेल भाई साहब जस्ट गिव मी सम जॉब इन योर शॉप डोंट गिव मी मनी जस्ट गिव मी सम फूड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे और इन द बिटवीन आल्सो आई विल जस्ट यू लिव ऑन द फूड यू जस्ट गिव मी फूड एंड आई विल वर्क इन योर शॉप बिकॉज आई हैव नथिंग टू वर्क एट माई होम सो आई विल डू वर्क एट योर शॉप so prabhu says he he wanted to engage himself because he knew that devils uh, the devil the mind empty mind idle mind the devils works off so if i don't engage this mind if i don't engage this mind properly so then it will create problem for me this is the modern situation today we have many many machines but we have no work to do then we, we like children you see they have no work to do they will play video game they will watch something in youtube they will do something else because they have not been taught what they have to do in gurukulas the children you, you go to the brahmanika brahmana gurukulas 8 8 hours they are put into practice for chanting mantras so where is the time for them they just they have to recite 10000 mantras in 8 years they have to become perfect in gurukulas for kshatriyas also they have to learn how to fight for vaishyas also they have to learn how to plow the field so lot of work was there in previous time therefore we used to find our grandfathers and uh, olden people they used to be very strong yes and they used to work whole day so now people are finding out technology how to remove ourselves from work and put technological asset to work but then what we will do we will eat uh, chips and then watch television this will this will be our problem tomorrow so because scientists are not seeing or the technologists are not seeing the purpose why this world has been designed to engage every one of us so that by engaging we do karma when we do karma huh, then we get purified when you do karma in a proper way you get purified by connecting the result to god if you do not do karma then how will you purify through mind we cannot purify now people have nothing to work so how they will purify So therefore karma this world is meant for karma we have to do work therefore duties of mother duties of father duties of wife duties of child everyone's duty why it is mentioned because of this reason everyone has to do his duty kartavya parayan but this thing shall missing so <clears throat> so material world if a scientist or the the great people they don't see that why it has been made how the god has made it structured it then we'll have uh incompleteness we will see in incomplete okay shila prabhu i think this mentions that sense gratification is a illusory completeness yes it happens with every one of us like i want a bike new bike till the time i get that new bike i will be nagging my father and say father did you go to the market did you go to the shop did you ask the price when you are going to bring it till the time that bike comes in my home and then i sit on it and drive it i will not get satisfaction so this kind of incompleteness which we feel for material objects okay if i if at all this object is with me i will be totally happy this is the feeling of every one of us for everything for laptop for gadgets for uh, like man has feeling of wom- for woman and a woman has feeling for man hmm? children are feeling for toys hmm? so they feel that i am incomplete let me become complete hmm? by having this thing and when we bring that object 
again how many days that uh, happiness remains after some days that happiness goes away children they are taught better i work hard so that you can come first in rank so then they work hard okay mama papa i have become first huh? how many days that happiness remains <laughs> i the struggle remains for many days and the happiness remains nothing happiness is for this much and struggle is for this much <laughs> so this is called illusory completeness when we want to be complete in this world through material objects through material people through material expectations huh? then this will be illusory completeness this is what propa is saying like hand is cut like hand is doing so many things eating doing something hmm? and uh, without this hand can we expect ourselves no oh see right now we don't think about hand yes but when it is cut now then we will always be watching 10 years back i had a hand how many work i could do aaj mere paas hath nahi hai तो हम बहुत सोचते हैं उसके ऊपर हैंड्स कैन डू सो मेनी थिंग्स यस बट अ पर्सन थिंक्स ओह दिस हैंड इज डूइंग सो मेनी थिंग्स लेट मी डिसकनेक्ट इट फ्रॉम बॉडी एंड देन टेक दिस हैंड अवे देन व्हाट विल हैपन द हैंड विल बी डेड इन द सिमिलर वे द स्टोरी कम्स दैट हैन वाज गिविंग गोल्डन एग समबडी देन द पर्सन थॉट ओह दिस हैंड बैक साइड इज गिविंग गोल्डन एग सो इफ आई कट द बैक साइड द एग्स विल कम आई नीड नॉट टू फीड द फ्रंट साइड because front side feeding means lot of problem is happening so much money is going so let me cut the back side and take away the x and he did that the x will come x will never come eh? so in the similar way we want to make human society happy by giving material facility with the and disconnecting from god disconnecting from god and giving all the material facility and then what will happen will die atmah this is happening in modern times we are been separated from god longer longer distances we are making between us and god hmm? by doing so many sinful activities hmm? and then when we do that we are unhappy people children go for children also go for suicide hmm? elder people they go for suicide why because they feel incompleteness i have no purpose in my life now all my expectation have been shattered i am baffled i am useless nothing can happen to me why because we are we were trying to see our completeness through material arrangement which have been baffled par abhavastha vadabhut jato yavanna jigyasat atma tatvam unless somebody knows the atma tatvam he is parabhav means he will be defeated again and again and again any endeavor we can do make a good family huh? full lineage of family we can make we can secure future for our grandchildren for for our forefathers also those who have been died उनके लिए भी हम पिंड कर लें और आगे बच्चे होने के लिए उनके लिए भी फैसिलिटी कर लें लेकिन जब तक हम आत्म तत्व को नहीं जानेंगे भगवत तत्व को नहीं जानेंगे वी विल बी इनकम्प्लीट विल बी अनसेटिस्फाइड द ह्यूमन फॉर्म इज केप्ट फॉर दिस पर्पज देन ओनली द्यूमन विल रियलाइज इट्स कंप्लीटनेस अदरवाइज नॉट तो द सेंस गेटिफिकेशन इज इल्यूजरी कंप्लीटनेस यस यस गो हैड माधव हरिनाम प्रभु इज देर Okay, I am in bus. Okay, okay, yes. So then we can read. Yes, Prasanna Gopal Prabhuji, can you read? Yes, sir. The completeness of human life can be realized only when one engages in the service of the complete whole. All services in the world, uh, whether social, political, communal, uh, international, or even interplanetary. will remain incomplete until they are dotted with the complete whole when everything is dotted with the complete whole the attached part and parcels also become complete in themselves yes so completeness will only happen through devotional service so uh, we shila prabhu teaches us that how by engaging our senses in krishna service we will be complete if we don't engage our hand our leg everything like amrish maharaj used to do and he was completely satisfied person see sometimes devotee also can feel that okay prabhu ji devotee is also unsatisfied like chetan mahaprabhu is saying i have no love of god and he is weeping and crying so he is also incomplete what is this anyone has answer for this chetan mahaprabhu is saying i am incomplete 
if you go to kaviraj goswami he is telling i i have no i am a lower than a worm in a stool if you go to haridas thakur he will say i am a patita eh? i am a malicha i am lower than malicha what is this so then they don't find any completeness only yes yes jayanand krishna from yes to batai any answer this yes lamentation this lamentation and this uh, whatever feeling is 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 actually transcendent it is not on the material level that that is called uh, lolya wherein they are actually lamenting if if they are that's love in separation what you can say and uh, if they are not able to do even all the acharyas they say that but they are most patit so at actually on the ground level they are most pious and those best but that 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 level that feeling is actually trans yes correct so jayanand pu is saying yes yes pruji prasanna gopal pruji yes pruji uh, their uh, unhappiness is uh, because of compassion for the other living entities compassion for other living entities correct so anything which is transcendental it can never be incomplete it can never be incomplete even though it seems to our material senses are a devotee ban gaya है? देखो इसके पास खाने के लिए कुछ जैसे तुकार महाराज घर में सब लोग बोलते थे यार तुम तुम बिठल के डिवोटी हो तुम्हारे घर में खाने के लिए नहीं है यू हैव नथिंग टू ईट हियर एवरी डे यू हैव टू गो फॉर जॉब एंड यू आर सो इन रेस्पॉन्सिबल यू डोंट डू एनी जॉब प्रॉपरली ऑल्सो तो देन वॉट इज दिस सो वेन वी सी फ्रॉम मटीरियल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इतना बेकार भगवान का भक्त बन गया तो एकदम इनरेस्पॉन्सिबल बन गया है हीज बिकम इन रेस्पॉन्सिबल गॉड इज नॉट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ हिम Through material senses, we cannot perceive these things. Nityanand Prabhu, when he wanted to go back to Navadhi, he lost his way. In Kirtan, he was doing Kirtan and he lost his way. Again, he asked people, "Where is the right way?" And then he went and he again he lost the way. <laughs> Any time management people, if they see even from devotees, they say, "What is this? This is a waste of time. <laughs> waste of time. It's not waste of time." so time does not flow only in spiritual world means time is there but it has no impact upon the devotees there no impact in spiritual world everything starts from best best and then better than best and then best 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 everything starts from there there is no incompleteness in spiritual world because the supreme personality of god is himself there to complete everything Him, himself present there hanuman oh hanuman hanuman is a simply a servant he can never uh, embrace lord ram he cannot climb on the uh, shoulder of lord ram hanuman is never feeling such things so sometimes there are some like lakshmi is feeling that okay gopis are dancing with krishna uh, and my husband vishnu never dances with me like that so i want to dance with krishna like that so sometimes such feeling may come okay but again then we can say that is also incompleteness hmm? oh the desires are so many because krishna is so attractive that the desires are increasing okay i want to serve krishna in this way i want to serve krishna in this way the desires can be unlimited but it, you don't say that uh, lord is creating like lord has been, lord wanted to uh, taste the love of shrimati radha rani okay then i have to become chetan mahaprabhu so so even apt kama the person who is having all the desires fulfilled he is also having prasann atma prashant lord is prashant prasann atma apt kama everything is there is fulfilled or he has fulfilled all your desire still is having desire what is this so these are transcendental signs we should understand that they are all fully complete and again they are playing past times again they are playing past times to enjoy more and more to enjoy more and more and this is transcendental enjoyment so like that like we sometimes uh, even though we have in material way even though we have everything we still we want to go for some picnic hmm? at our home everything is there we still we want to go to some place for picnic why because we want to have some variety of enjoyment it's not that we are incomplete but we want to have variety that is also one thing hmm? so in material way we can see like that so god eko bahushyama god is one but he separated himself into many just to enjoy so uh everything has to be devoted in the service of the lord jo says sarva karmani krishna says in the bhagavad gita that anybody who is engaged in another work 
डोंट टेल हिम टू स्टॉप द वर्क बट एंगेज हिम इन माय डिवोशनल सर्विस थॉटफुली एंगेज हिम डोंट टेल हिम दैट गिव अप एवरीथिंग एंड देन कम नो एंगेज हिज रिजल्ट इन माय सर्विस एंगेज हिज मनी इन इन माय सर्विस एंगेज हिज काया इन माय सर्विस लाइक दैट एंगेज हिम एंगेज हिम सो थ्रू एंगेजमेंट इन डिवोशनल सर्विस व्हाट हैपेंस वी बिकम पूर्णा वी आर पूर्णा how this hand is purna it can do all functions but it has to be connected with the body krishna is the body and we are his part and parcel if we don't con connect to krishna dashila propas said he went to the london and asked his disciples why this grass is yellow and why this is green they said propas uh, because it's getting sunlight it is uh, and making food so propas said no because it had disconnected from its root the grass has become disconnected from its root so it has become yellow and the grass who is connected to the root it is still green in a similar way when we are connected to supreme personality of godhead uh, we are valuable we are living our life properly and the example purpose gives of a small uh, bolt like in a lorry big lorry a small bolt is keeping the parts of that lorry together but if that is small bolt falls down on the road how much it will cost 1 rupees 2 rupees but how much it is important to keep that two machine parts together it is very much important so the function is very important but because it is disconnected it has no value and therefore living entity in this world they find i am useless i have no value because he has not connected to god he cannot see his value he cannot see his value once you connect to god you will see we are valuable and a squirrel in rama and leela a squirrel was valuable eh? yeah she was uh, able to do some service to lord ram hanuman chesta hey, what you are doing eh? you are just wasting uh, wasting uh, you are disturbing me and wasting your energy and time so lord ram said how can you chesta her she is a small creature and she is doing what she can do with her whole sincerity so a small squirrel is also accepted by god what to speak of big person like hanuman so when we see the creation when we understand that lord is not there to uh, see that who is a very herculean task master or doing very big big task i will only bless him and those who are not doing anything they are not doing anything lazy people will never be blessed but yes those who are doing with their full sincerity they will be blessed this is a condition we should do anything for the pleasure of the lord with full sincerity hmm. okay yes what is the question somebody has read and uh it, it wasn't a question it was just a, a reflection uh in the connection to the, being connected to krishna something like, uh, i read somewhere that even a nail on the body looks so beautiful but when it's cut you know it looks so ugly and then even the hair when it's like on the hair on the head it looks nice but we'll find the you know hair in our you know food is so disgusting so when everything's connected to the whole the krishna it just lo looks so beautiful when it's not so it's incomplete that's all I wanted to share yes. that thought correct correct uh yeah there muni asked the questions uh to मैत्रमुनि सुखाय कर्माणि करोति लोको नते सुखं मान्यतु पारमं मा विन्देत भूयस्तत एव दुःखं यदत्र युक्तं भगवान् बदेन्नः ओ भगवान् बदेन्न ओ भगवान् मैत्रमुनि प्लीज टेल मी व्हाई पीपल आर सफरिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड दे आर ट्राइंग टू मेक ऑल द सॉल्यूशंस बट स्टिल द सफरिंग इज नॉट गेटिंग सबसाइडेड बट देयर हैंकरिंग फॉर मटेरियल एन्जॉयमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग मोर See, because of hankering, we are suffering in one sense. The real sense is this only: if we become satisfied, na, huh? Brahma, Buddha, Prasad, na, Atma, na, Shoti, chinn, na, Kamshati. We become satisfied in material sense, but we become greedy in a spiritual sense to attain Krishna's mercy, to attain Krishna's abode. If we are greedy for that and we become satisfied in our material life, that whatever comes, I want to be satisfied. I will do my endeavor, but whatever comes, I want to be satisfied. but if we do these two things so then that we will be uh, living a life according to lord sri krishna's plan yes but bidur muni is asking ki people are trying to solve their problems through material solutions but their hankering is not satisfied it is increasing more and more because of fruitive activities 
So how, why, why this is happening? So then Vidur Muni says what? Uh, Maitre Muni says, Janasya Krishna Dvimukhasya Daivat Adharma Silas Sudukitasya Anugraha Yeha Chalanti Nunam Bhutani Bhavyani Janardhanasya. He says that Janasya Krishna, why we are suffering? Because we have turned away our face from Krishna. Sudukitasya. We are Sudukhi. Dukhi nahi, Sudukhi. Bhoja Dukhi hai. Sudukitasya Anugraha. And then he say, Adharma Silasya. Because we have turned our face away from Krishna, we are doing a lot of Adharma. And so we are very, very miserable. And that's why Anugraha Yeha Charanti Nunam, the great souls, they keep on roaming here and there, wandering here and there, and they keep giving knowledge to the people who are suffering. So he makes the whole solution of material world in this one verse. Why we are suffering? what we are doing and how we will be liberated by taking shelter of great devotees. Listening from them, following the instructions. Okay, Anurag Prabhuji, you had a question. Yes. Prabhuji, actually I had one, uh, one query. Uh, it looks like that in this verse it talks about completeness, but it is conditional completeness because as you mentioned that when we are away from Krishna, we don't ex uh, feel that uh, completeness and actually at that time it is incomplete but uh, the by definition word complete should means that it's it is complete always like it should not have any kind of additional uh, conditions or additional uh, uh, demands uh, on it but when uh, when we are with in connection with krishna it, we are complete but otherwise not so Correct. how do we understand this Yes. So the Vedic literature should not be understood literally. The literal meaning of the verses would not give the right knowledge. We have to hear from Acharya Parampara. The literal meaning of Sanskrit, there are so many scholars are there. They will also do the literal translation like that only. We are Purana, we are Purana. So the Gyanis are also telling, we are also Purana, we have realized Brahman. They are also saying, even those who are religious people, Christians, Muslim, they are also saying, our Allah is there and we are Purana. <laughs> Everybody is saying I'm Purana only. So actually, the Purana means we have to connect with the Purana. Janmad yasyato vanvayad itaratas charthe swabhigya swarat. Krishna is swarat. We are not swarat. Very simple to understand. If somebody is superior to us, we can only be complete when we are and we are dependent on him. So, like Krishna, we are dependent. I need air, I need food, I need clothes, I need a relationship in this world. Huh? I, it means I am dependent. Very simple. Krishna does not need anything. He's Swarat. So his completeness is directly mentioned in the scriptures. Then how I am complete? When I obey Krishna or when I connect with Krishna and he provides me all these things, then I am complete. Like a wife is complete when she obeys husband, when she remains with the husband, she remains chaste and she follows the husband, she is complete. A child is complete when she follows the mother and father. Child is also complete when he becomes trained, trained boy or girl to do what his parents or guru have taught. Then he is complete. When we become trained devotees, when we become pure devotees, then we are complete. Because we are always like a baby. We understand Krishna is our father, mother, everything. We always run to his lotus feet. And we can move anywhere, like Narad Muni, going anywhere. He's not telling mommy, papa, Vishnu, then give me your hand, I will catch. No, he does not require A, B, C, D or Bhakti. He has already so advanced, he's going anywhere. So he has understood who is he really. Jivira Sarupa Krishna Nityadas. He is a Nityadas. He has understood. He has no other identity. He has understood his identity, realized his identity, is practicing his identity. So for him, he is a Purana. So we are Purana when we are de devoted devotees or devoted pure devotees of the Lord. We have surrendered ourselves to the Lord. Then we are Purana, complete. No, no, even though pure devotees, are, sometimes we see some faults in them. That is again, Ishopani says, uh, NOI says that that is only like uh, in Ganga, some Bulbula comes, some. So that is like that. But Ganga is never impure. So pure devotees are never impure. Materially, you may see something here and there, but they are never impure. 
So in the similar way, we should not see the Puranam from material understanding. Puranam means, okay, it is a Purana. It is written Purana, it means Purana. No. Again, it's not a literal. We have to understand from Acharya purport hmm, that Puranam means what? Because that's why I also mentioned when we say God is partial or impartial, we have to see from seventh canto on what condition is he is saying. When he is a uh, impartial, he is saying, if somebody is surrendering to me, I am ready to give myself to him. If somebody is surrendering to me, I am ready to give myself to him. Then somebody is there, you are partial. Means, if you chocolate, I will do something. भगवान बोलेगे तुमको जो बोलना बोलो मेरे को जो सरेंडर करता है वो मेरा हो जाता है मैं उसका हो जाता हूं ये भगवान का प्रॉमिस है भगवान का कंडीशन है और ये एब्सोल्यूट कंडीशन है इसीलिए आप हम हम सब जगह देखते हैं लाइक अ मदर और फादर अभी जैसे इफ इफ सम कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स इज गोइंग ऑन एंड सम सम चाइल्ड इज देयर एंड ही इज गेटिंग इन ट्रबल सेंड देन मदर एंड फादर एंड सीज दैट ओ माय चाइल्ड इज इन ट्रबल and other child is also in trouble. So first they will go and save their own child. Why? Is it not a partiality? Prabhupada says it's not a partiality. Because it's a nature. Krishna will save his devotee first. It's a natural. It's not partiality. Because he has surrendered to him. He has given his life to him. Hmm? So that is why it is not partiality. So we have to understand the tattva in a proper way. Literally, Shastras will not explain fully. Therefore, Ishopanishad, uh, above Ishopanishad, then Vedanta. Vedanta is explaining more Upanishad in a more better way. Then comes Bhagavatam. There is more better explanation. Okay, like that. So we'll go ahead. Uh, we are falling short of time now. So next sloka is Ishavasham idam sarvam yatkincha jagatyam jagat tena tena bhunjitha magrida kasya swidhanam now, in these two things are spoken, basically. Isha Vasham Idam Sarvam means two things. God or absolute absolute truth, now we have realized, at least understood that absolute truth is Bhagwan. Okay? So, here it is mentioned Isha. In previous, it was mentioned Idam Adaha. Idam Adaha. Adaha means they were not explaining. But now he has mentioned Isha. Okay? Isha means Ishwar. We are tiny Ishwaras. If we see from other perspective, Nityo Nityanam, Chetna Chetna Nam, that also other Upanishad says that who is a one person who is a Ishwar and others are also controlled by that Ishwar. So Ishwara, Parama, Krishna, Sachidananda, Bigra. Hmm. So many definitions, if you ma match, then you'll find out. Like Kunti Mani also says that hmm, Namaste Purusham Ta Adhyam Ishwara Prakarte Param. Alaksham Sarvabhu, Ishwara Prakriti Param means we are Ishwara who is beyond Prakriti. Indra is not beyond Prakriti. He is still under Prakriti. So here the Isha Vasham is referring to absolute truth who is a, whose identity here as proprietor, controller. That is called Isha. Ishwar matlab jo control karta hai. Who, one who controls. So this world is under control of Isha. It is owned by Isha. It is controlled by Isha. He is a proprietor. This is the first thing. Second thing it is mentioned. When you understand this world and everything, animate and inanimate, everything is owned and controlled by that Isha. So you should only accept what has been given as your quota. Jo tumara quota hai, wahi lena. Kyunki control kisne kiya hai? Ab koi bachche ghar mein bolte na. जैसे कोई छोटे को मान लो कोई छोटे बच्चे को दो भाई हैं छोटे भाई को चोरी करना है मान लो मम्मी के या पापा के आ, कोई अलमीरा से या पॉकेट से कुछ पैसे निकालने वो क्या बोलेगा बड़ा भाई बड़े भाई को भी खाना है लेकिन चोरी तो छोटा ही करेगा तो फिर वो छोटा बोलता है बड़ा बोलता है अरे 
ध्यान से कर पप्पा देखने नहीं चाहिए मम्मी देखने नहीं चाहिए मतलब क्या ईश कौन है पप्पा मम्मी ईश है और तेरा कोटा तो है नहीं उसमें तेरा कोटा तो मम्मी पप्पा देंगे तेरे हाथ में देन इट विल बीर कोटा बट यू आर स्टीलिंग दैट सो बी कॉशियस बी कॉशियस दैट द ईशा शुड नॉट कैच यू ईशा शुड नॉट कैच यू तो दिस वर्ड इज स्पोकन इन दिस वे दैट you living entity may think that okay i can go and rob anyone's house take anyone's property do anything what i like but you should understand isha is there isha is there and he has control everyone's property if you think okay like in some places in india if they leave their house for certain months some other people come and they occupy the house these are gundas and now it is people are fearful are if i leave my home and don't uh, come there for 4 5 months then it will be not my house then i have to uh, go into the court and then fight case against these people and then these people are so strong people they are rowdy people they cannot be driven away also so easily so so here it is mentioned even though that that is like a material world it is happening but in the eyes of god in the laws of god there is no imperfection गॉड इज वॉचिंग कौन क्या कर रहा है आज उसको डंडा नहीं मिलेगा तो कल डंडा मिलेगा टूमोरो यू विल गेट द बीटिंग्स टूडे यू मे नॉट गेट बट यू विल गेट बीटिंग्स डोंट वरी सो देर फोर द शास्त्र आर सींग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी कंट्रोल्ड बाई गॉड्स वर्ड इट इज गुड अदरवाइज यू विल बी कंट्रोल्ड बाई शास्त्र शास्त्र और शस्त्र क्या चाहिए शस्त्र चाहिए क्या कोई तलवार लेके आएगा बाद में कोई हाथ पैर काट देगा बोलेगा अरे मेरा हाथ में तो कुछ किया नहीं क्यों मारा अरे पिछले जन्म में तुमने कुछ गड़बड़ किया इसलिए हो गया या इस जन्म में कुछ किया तो शास्त्र के द्वारा कंट्रोल हो हो जाओ या शास्त्र के द्वारा तो शास्त्र में बता रहा है कि दिस इज द वे वी शुड बी लिविंग ईशो पनिषद दिस थ्री वर्सेज फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड दे आर बेसिकली मैंशनिंग ओबे द लॉज ऑफ ईशा भगवान ईशा अभी ईशा मसीह नहीं है ये दिस इज नॉट ईशा मसी मतलब अब क्रिश्चन तो ईशा मसीह इसको पढ़ेंगे तो बोलेंगे हमारे जीसस से इधर ही आ गए इट्स अ ईशा हु इज प्रकृति परम ही इज इवन कंट्रोलिंग प्रकृति एंड एवरीथिंग एनिमेट एंड इन एनिमेट एंड ही सेइंग यू टेक ओनली योर कोटा एंड डोंट एनक्रोच अपन अदर्स कोटा यस जयानंद कृष्ण प्रभु जी कैन यू रीड I'll, I'll start from a translation, Prabhu. Ah, uh, translation, yes. Okay. Everything animate or inanimate that is within the universe is controlled and owned by the Lord. One should therefore accept only those things necessary for himself, which are set aside as his quota, and one must not accept other things, knowing well to whom they belong. For us, the Vedic knowledge is infallible because it comes down through the perfect disciple succession of spiritual masters beginning with the Lord Himself. The Vedic knowledge is received from the transcendental sources. The first word was spoken by the Lord. The words spoken by the Lord are called a parush, a parushaya, not delivered by any instant of the mundane world. A living being of the mundane world has four defects, which are first that he must commit some mistake, uh, second he must sometimes be illusion, third he must try to cheat others, and fourth he is endowed with imperfect senses. With these four principles of imperfection, one cannot deliver perfect information in a matter of all-pervading knowledge. The Vedas are not known like that. The Vedic knowledge was originally imparted in the heart of Brahma, the first created living being, and Brahma is, in his turn, disseminated the knowledge of, to his sons and disciples, who have continued the process down through history. The Lord being Puruna, okay. Purnam, all. Okay, uh, we will discuss now. this already has been explained by shila prabhupad in introduction why shila prabhupad again is speaking the same thing here the humans have four defects the vedas is aparushya yeah? and uh, the vedas are not produced by imperfect creature why again the reason is now this isha has to be established prabhupad will establish that this isha is supreme personality of god on what basis he will establish So he has to speak about the Vedas once again because many people are there in right now also in the world. You, uh, they say, 
like uh, there only one religion is very famous in this world that is sense gratification sense gratification is a nice religion hmm? and it has taken a very nice name now that is called secularism we are secular if you go to schools and uh, education institution and ask can you uh, we want to teach something to the students here some so they say that only teach morals don't teach uh, religion don't give your religion just teach moral moral values moral values means do good live good think good in this way only but they will never connect to the absolute truth who is a param good supreme good they will never connect they will say that okay if you teach religion then uh, there will be problem hindu will think uh, you have called hindu teacher or muslim will think oh you have called muslim teacher so a lot of fight will happen it means in our india people are having so you can say third class understanding of religion that they cannot resolve the fight among themselves like if hindus are fighting with muslims if 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 hindus are given more seat or muslims are given more seat so they will fight why you are given more liberty and we are not given more liberty why so they will think like that why so they don't have proper understanding of religion they are doing sense gratification but they put the label religion hindu religion hindu sense gratifier hai but wo likha hindu religion somebody was asking me that uh, this, this muslims uh, they follow their namaz timely hmm? they, they they do all their rituals so nicely and they are so united they are very nice i told what is the use of nice if you cannot understand other human being and you simply understand your allah whom you cannot whom you, how much you understand nobody knows and then they were saying oh they were having madrasa their their children are taught in gurukulas so what is the use of gurukula where children they go and then they come out and they become terrorist what is the use or otherwise like this movie some movies have come uh, sometimes back that how they were changing the uh, religion of the young ladies eh? the muslims are marrying and the change in their religion what is the use of your religion first tell what is the use of your third class the religion means it has to teach this basic thing what what is that basic thing ahimsa everyone is our brother and sisters yes everybody is brother and sisters we are god's children god has given certain way for certain people to live certain religion why are you changing if you have better thing do you have the better things so if these people cannot understand this much can you say call them religious people even though they are united they are going to gurukula what is the use of all these things palena parichay hindus i am not glorifying hindus huh? hindus also they may not be united but if at least if they understand this thing that i should not cause harm to him because if i cause the problem will come to me if this understanding hindu is having is better than a a namaz reader who is reading namaz 365 days from many years to allah and this person at least he understand how i should behave it is better why it is better because kapil dev says in third canto that if you are simply offering respect to deities and you are troubling the living entities your yagyas what you are putting ahuti is like a putting ahuti in the ashes no use madhyam adhikari is known through how you deal with others uttama knows how you deal with everyone equally but madhyama means how you deal with non devotees devotees and kanishth means only bhagwan which he has no understanding any way these are neither kanish nor madhyama but i am just giving the understanding if somebody understand how to live in this world that i should not cause harm to others he is missing something he he is missing religion okay he surely he must have done some religion that's why the pious thoughts comes otherwise it's not possible but other person who is just showing off i am going to mostly uh, i am a mosque and i am doing religion and i am cutting the heads of so many people i am cutting so many animals what is the use of your religion propa says christians are maintaining the maximum number of slaughter houses what is the use of you are being a christian and you are teaching you are opening so many christian school teaching to the people you should follow jesus what is the use jesus propa said he is our guru but propa took the message 
not the followers you can say fanaticism hmm? to convert people then somebody can are you not converting into krishna krishnaites or krishna devotees are you not converting but we are convert we don't convert like them hmm? they are their conversion is totally means uh, it's a beyond human hmm? they disrespect gods like christians how they convert they take your uh, our demigods and then they put into the water and then they say see your demigod could not protect himself he he went and drowned inside water see our jesus they would bring the murti of jesus and they will put this murti is made up of such that it will not drown only <laughs> and they'll put in the water see our jesus murti is floating on the water see our jesus ki jai then say now jesus ki jai now this is a this is a, such a low class preaching low class preaching you don't know single thing about indra chandra the demigod and you are speaking against them you are uh, telling them broke the deed break the deity of demigods and establish jesus this third class 10th class 15th class yeah. no use yeah. so religion should not be mis uh, preached in this way or misunderstood in this way religion has to set a path connecting living entities with god compassion if you have better thing give him if you don't have accept that i don't have i myself have to have then i will help you so it is like that so so therefore uh, this uh, propad is again establishing the vedas that now i am going to say that is veda is aporosya not is spoken by human being and the vedas are infallible they are coming in parampara hmm? is spoken by brahma uh, spoken to brahma first and then brahma uh, disseminated this knowledge to his lineage down so therefore the vedas had rightly been handled in parampara and so on this vedic uh, vedic literature we are going to establish the isha that he is a proprietor krishna is a proprietor so now propad will say yeah yes braj kumar prabhu ji can you read Okay. Since the Lord is Purnam, all perfect, there is no possibility of his being subjected to the laws of material nature, which is in which he which he controls. However, both the living entities and inanimate objects. Are controlled by the laws of nature and ultimately by the laws potency. This open shot is. Obviously, my my glasses. Are, I'm not really good at reading with my glasses. Is a by focal. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Yes, Arun Jaiswalpur, can you read? From beginning here, since the Lord is Purna. since the lord is purnam all perfect there is no possibility of his being subjected to the laws of material nature which he controls however both the living entities and inanimate objects are controlled by the laws of nature and ultimately by the lord's potency the, this is upanishad is part of the yajur ved and consequently it contains information concerning the proprietorship of all things existing within the universe The Lord's proprietorship over everything within the universe is confirmed in the seventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, where para and apara para and apara prakriti are discussed. The elements of nature, earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and ego, all belong to the Lord's inferior material energy, apara prakriti. Whereas the living being, the organic energy is his superior energy, para prakriti. but of this prakritis or energies are emanations from the lord and ultimately he is the controller of everything that exists there is nothing in the universe that does not belong to either the para or the apara prakriti therefore everything is the property of the supreme being okay so uh, now prabhupad is saying this yusu upanishad is coming from yajur ved yes so first established what is the vedas it is infallible then he is saying ishopanishad is coming and then he is saying ishopanishad is, is saying that lord is the proprietor so in this way propad is bringing down so yes so supreme lord uh, as it is mentioned here 
in Bhagavad Gita, uh, you find this verse is there. Yes, Bhumi Rapo Nalo Vayu Khammano Buddhir Evacha. Ahankar Idhyam Me Bhinna Prakriti Meashkada. Apraya Itastve Annam Prakriti Vidhi Me Panam. Jeeva Bhuta Mahabaho Edam Dharyam Jagat. So Krishna says that is Apara, Apara and Para. Hmm? Para means superior energy, means spiritual energy. Apara means material energy. Both belongs to Krishna. And this world is basically a combination of upper and para only. We are we are para energy, we are a spirit soul, we are a spiritual being, and material energy is upper. So this world is combination of para and upper. So Krishna has said now everything para and upper, you see, is my energy. It means then he becomes the proprietor. He becomes the proprietor. So now somebody can say, but I am I, I have uh, purchased a house to BHK. At least I am the proprietor of my house. Somebody can say like that. So, the two things are there. Prabhupada mentions about it. One is called illusory. Hmm? Illusory means what? Okay. If you have certain control, that control is called illusory. Or that does not mean uh, it's a temporary. Prabhupada says illusory means temporary. Hmm? Some places he explains illusory means temporary. So, if we say that I have this house. I have this uh, asset. So this is with you for temporary time. After a certain time, it will be taken away. Or it will not be yours. You will give it away or it will be taken away. But for Krishna, wherever the object goes, the name is made by God, owned by God, controlled by God. The name is written on that object. Hidden names are written. Like uh, HP, HP ka laptop, HP ka uh, or mobile Samsung. The Samsung company is written. But on every object is written, made by God, owned by God, created by God. That is what Ishopanishad is saying. And what we write, in care of Arjun Das, in care of some other devotee's name, means they write every object in care of. Why? As already mentioned, God has created does not mean I have no responsibility. I have to take care of that object. Like father may purchase some object. Now he gives it to the children, child. Okay, this pencil I brought from market, very costly pencil or pen, take care of it. The child will say, it's a papa pencil. Papa ne kharid ke diya hai. Jaise bhi use karo, kal ko dobara papa meru kharid ke de denge. So then, what will happen? How many days papa will bring? Papa will say, are, I am purchasing, this is my money and this is, uh, I have purchased, this is owned by me, everything. But you have to take care of it. Utilize it properly. So therefore, responsibility has, has been passed down. Even though I am the owner and proprietor, you have to take responsibility. Hmm? So this is important thing to understand. So the uh, so it does not mean to issue. Sometimes people misunderstand. Are isha, sab kuch ish ka hai. Jaise kahi log bolte hain, sab kuch unka hai. To ham kya soch? Ham to soch bhi nahi sakte. Hamen kaise acha banana hai, kaise kya karna. Sab wahi karane wala hai. Sab kuch wahi kar raha hai. Hmm? Aisa nahi hai. It's not like that. Isha Panishad is not telling like that. Isha Panishad is saying. He one thing is a proprietor and he is giving you some duty also. Do your duty. Understanding everything belongs to him. Ah, yes, Anurag Agar, yes. Uh, Praji, uh, this uh, there is a famous uh, uh, quote by Prabhupada that uh, we should not uh, hanker for our material happiness because whatever is destined will surely come uh, to us. So now seeing that uh, in this context that uh, uh, here we are saying that okay, there is a responsibility, and this. So, how do you reconcile? Because there it is pretty clearly written that happiness is anyway destined and it will come irrespective of whether we struggle or not. So, we should rather not struggle. We should not over endeavor, it does not mention we should not endeavor at all. It is not like otherwise. Why there are duties mentioned for Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishya, Shudras in scriptures? Why duties are mentioned? Because they have to do those work. I mentioned now through work you get purified. Hmm. Now that work has to be done in proper way, not understanding ourselves to be the doer. That is higher knowledge. But at least see, agar ghar mein bhi koi kaam nahi karta hai na, to kya bolte? Arey ja ke job kar. Prima mat baat ke khaya pe. Don't simply eat here. Go and do work. 
so for him it is better to work rather than sitting at home and eating now for one who is working already for him it is better to work with a proper consciousness okay if we cannot maintain consciousness at least give money to god do some selfless work through the result of your work when once you start doing that then more higher stages hmm, go to temple and do some seva hmm, and then more give your money then more give your consciousness mind everything to god so these are all upper now those who are jivan mukta those who have nothing to gain and lose in this world krishna says no work is mentioned for them but still they do work krishna gives example of janak maharaj in bhagavad gita he is also doing work but he is doing akarma so nobody is free even krishna also comes and does to teach all of us so therefore over endeavor is not uh, sanction but endeavor which is according to our varna and ashram when they come to varna ashram that is sanction and that we have to do it so that we can live in this world and uh, we can also the work see work without doing work even dharma is not complete see if you want to do some dharma you have to do some rituals some work you have to do you have to go to market bring agarbatti you have to go to market so for that you have to should have money to earn those things then you can do your dharma so therefore work cannot be avoided it is like that so over thank you i was mentioning so yes uh, one king was there he got a ring in that ring it was written this two shall pass away he was he was he read it and he became very happy what was written this two shall pass away so then somebody asked why you are so happy he said see when i get victory when i see my ring this my victory will also pass away when i get some defeat i will again read on the ring this two shall pass away when i will get suffering again i will read on the ring this two shall pass away means everything will pass away <laughs> everything will pass away it is there for certain time tolerate it go ahead so this is the thing actually so we are not here ultimate proprietor we are here for transient time and this two shall pass away इसलिए कोई भी चीज हमारी नहीं है इसका ये मतलब नहीं रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नहीं लेना कभी कभी ऐसा होता है जैसे मान लो एक बार ऐसा हुआ ट्रेन का टिकट बुक किया टू डिवोटीज वर देयर सो वन डिवोटी ही ही स्टार्टेड प्रीचिंग टू समर पीपल एंड द अदर डिवोटी वॉज सेंग प्रभु आर गेटिंग लेट लेट इज गो नाउ टू सेच ऑन इन टाइम डोंट वरी डोंट वरी लाइक दट यूर सेंग एंड देन द टाइम वॉज रियली and the first devotee was really panicked prabhu ab to pahunch hi nahi payenge but like, don't worry i know all the way i know how we have to reach don't worry and then ultimately he this also person understood now we are getting late now i should leave so then he left that boy and then he started running and then running running and you know in when we want to go on a station so many you cannot predict traffic will not be there you cannot predict that uh, no person will uh, it, Uh, obstruct you or something will not obstruct you everything is not clear and then what happens the train is started and these two devotees running 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 and somehow they caught the train and they jumped inside and they got saved their lakshmi reserve seat eh? lakshmi got saved and then the second devotee who was delaying he said krishna's grace we got see prabhu krishna is so merciful the first devotee was very angry was like, krishna is not mar- krishna is merciful but you are irresponsible so this is the thing now krishna is merciful but this devotee is not seeing the krishna's merciful in another time he is reminding you come leave him leave him chalo baba late ho jaoge he is waiting for that mercy of krishna when he will lose money of krishna it is possible many times we lose money we train ticket gone then we lament are baba krishna why it happened then we what we think i should have not delayed us samay mein krishna mercy ye samajh mein aata hai ki hame delay nahi karna chahiye aur jab ek baar train pakad liya krishna is so merciful it means he is shirking off from his responsibility he is running away from his responsibility so we should not run away from our responsibility hmm? we have to do our duties duties have been given in this world it's not that prabhu ji i am chanting sometimes we we make uh, bahana of chanting we are chanting 
uh, like sometimes somebody can say oh, i am chanting oh the child has to go to school who will cook for him oh no i am chanting my rounds are remaining other than what he will eat your rounds he will not eat na he has to he has to have some food to eat so you have to cook also then so we have to live in this world become first conscious then krishna conscious means we have to live in this world and krishna is not krishna is not uh, only seeing if you complete your round in brahma murta then only you will be called perfect person no we have to get time to wake up early in the morning before our work begins and chant rounds that is the duty that is correct but if you have not woken up then you are searching of your other responsibility telling my i have to chant then that is also not good and surely to wake up very early it requires training so again every person is not possible to do that if somebody has gone through brahmacharya training all training so then he can do that but everybody cannot do you cannot make a a, a luna into you can say big uh, maruti or you can say bada car nahi bana sakte you cannot make it maruna luna hi rehne wala hai luna jitna bhagta hai utna hi usme petrol dal ke bhaga hua hai <laughs> krishna does not compare a uh, sudra or a very brahmanical person saying that oh sudra is uh, doing lot of sudraic work and he is doing lot of brahmanical i will choose brahmana then why he choose the cobbler cobbler ko kyu mercy diya aur us brahman ko nahi diya because of this reason so bhakti is okay sorry time is up okay nah, i have been reminded time is up i am going to leave now hmm? so the bhakti is like that hmm? so we have to do our duties krishna is proprietor i am caretaker i should take care what has been given to me and sometime we take care too much we become attached so then krishna gives kick chalo niklo yahan se dhritarashtra ban gaye ho tum you have become dhritarashtra kick away kick him so then krishna kicks us so too much attachment is also not good so therefore the varnashram process is there okay so we'll end here uh i have gone ahead of time shila prabhupad ki jai vancha kalpataru vishra kripa sindhu bheva cha patita naam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namo ananta koti vaishnavind ki jai so we have completed how many shlokas uh, first shloka we are uh, going and the paragraph we have completed first second and third so yugal milan prabhu is in charge of this batch na आदि भगवान तो ठीक है डन सो आई विल और सम ऑफ यू कैन आल्सो रिमाइंड थर्ड फोर्थ पैराग्राफ वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट टाइम तो नेक्स्ट सैटरडे वील अगेन मीट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू प्रज्ञा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एन एनलाइटनिंग टू अस टू इट वाज वेरी एंगेजिंग एंड वेरी एनलाइटनिंग लॉट ऑफ कांसेप्ट्स वर क्लियर थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण